Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from Mapsid. So uh, in this video, I will use the, um, the app generator to build um, a simple Flask application on top of uh, Material Kit from uh, uh, from Creative Team. Uh, the product uh, will be generated by the platform, and uh, the sources um, uh, will be published on GitHub. And uh, once the source code is uh, is available, we will uh, push the product live on render using this um, open source uh, CLI deployer. So uh, let's uh, select the design. Um, in the second step, we need to to confirm the um, uh, the backend framework, which can be Flask or Django for now, but the more will come, like uh, FastAPI and uh, Node.js. Also, uh, in this uh, in this screen, we can customize the database and the deployment. Uh, I will use the defaults for now and uh, uh, generate the code. So, uh, for newcomers, the um, the generator provided by AppSeed, it's a super simple uh, wizard uh, interface that uh, uh, collects the minimum information from the user and uh, once the, all the information is provided, like uh, design, uh, backend server and um, deployment options and also the, the persistence, um, the request is sent to the platform and um, if the process is successful, the application is saved on GitHub. So um, another cool thing that we we will uh, demonstrate during this video is to uh, push the the product live on on render. For newcomers, render is a deploy deployment platform with uh, many options and um, um, a super decent pricing. And uh, here at AppSet, we decided to to go with render to automatize the the deployments. Um, so soon this option will be somewhere integrated in this uh, in this interface and uh, once the the user gets the code he will also uh, have the possibility to to push the product live without leaving the AppSeed website so uh, this is uh, this work is um, uh, under development and uh, soon we will uh, uh, provide this feature okay if we go to the to the github we should see some notifications here that the files are uploaded so uh, okay 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 now we need to wait a little bit there are plenty of files that should be uploaded to, to github and once the the process is finished and the, the tool detects the end of the uploading process uh, we will have here the the link to the repository the the deployer that uh, handles the uh, the go live of the product it's an uh, open source tool basically it's a wrapper built on top of uh, the api provided by render and uh, all we need to do is to call the, the deployer using this uh, uh, argument flask uh, that uh, tells us to provide the two, two inputs. The first one is the repository and the second one which is uh, optional is the, um, the entry point of the, of the application. Um, in our case uh, it's enough to, to provide only the uh the repository cool so the application it's, it's uploaded on uh on github we can see that uh, this one is uh this this file is created three minutes ago another important fact is the um, is the license of the generated code which is mit uh which means you can uh, use the the project and incorporate the the sources into uh, commercial projects or simply use for e-learning. Okay, so uh, let's deploy the product. I have here the argument which is Flask. I will copy the repository. Sorry. 
I'll copy here the address and uh, specify the entry point run.app which is standard for all uh, um, application generated by AppSeed in Flask and I will hit enter uh, now the deployer uh, sends the information to the render API and uh, if the um, uh, request is accepted we should be able to see the um, uh, the deployment uh, on the render dashboard okay so the the request was accepted this is the deployment id and uh, the application will uh, will be live at this address so let's access the render um, dashboard and we can see that the deploy is in progress i will click on the application and uh, visualize the uh, compilation logs in the same way the um, uh, this deployer knows how to, to deploy also Django no GS uh, static sites uh, for uh, React View and other um, uh, UI engines, um, uh, these API handlers uh, basically are shortcuts uh, to the API, all API service provided by AppSeed. And this full stack um, handler knows how to deploy uh, uh, full stack application uh, build with uh, Node.js in React, Flask in React, Django in React, and uh, such um, and similar combinations provided by the by the app generator. So until the uh, un until the deployment is is fully finished, we can uh, check out here the. Um, uh, the generator and also the the React generator comes with uh, many many kits. Horizon it's super Chakra UI uh, kit. Berry it's uh, based on Material UI. Uh, Dataable is based on uh, on React Strap and uh, Soft Dashboard is built on top of Material UI. So using the same flow. We can generate other uh, full stack applications with different um, backend technologies and get the code uh, in just a few minutes. Okay, I will trigger a manual deploy just to force another another compilation. Usually the the compilation goes smoothly, but uh, this time looks that uh, he has a, a small delay. Okay, now the um, the build is running. This, this platform knows how to, uh, based on the instruction pushed by the deployer, knows how to build the application to set up the environment, and uh, if all goes well, uh, the application should be should be live in one or two minutes. Okay, so the build is finished. Now render pushes the the binaries to the into the wild, and uh, we should be able to access the <coughs> the application soon in the browser. So we have uh, only green uh, green messages, so always uh, uh, always good. Cool.
Okay. Once the application is live, we should uh, be able to see the green light here. And uh, also the, the CLI should uh, contain only successful messages. Okay. Let's uh, access the application in the browser. So the product is up and running. Also render offers the possibility to visualize the runtime uh, logs of the server. So I will use uh, an existing user just to test the login process and the UI tells us that uh, the user is not registered. Let's register a new user. That's it. Use a dummy password. So the user is created successfully. We can sign in. Now we are in. The application looks amazing, in my opinion. And uh, we can see here that the um, uh, backend is uh, serving the pages. So, guys, thanks for watching. That was uh, our uh, small demo, small demonstration. So basically, we generated uh, a simple Flask application on top of a modern UI. You, uh, the code is generated with uh, SQLite database with authentication. The design is uh, is Booster Five. It looks amazing, and uh, the generator source is uh, our little standard MIT license. And also the the product is deployable on render without much effort. Thanks for watching. In case anyone have issues, uh, just uh, go to the support page, send us an email, or simply chat one to one on Discord. We are more than one thousand developers on Discord, and uh, the community is super super nice. Thank you, and as always, I wish you all a super super day. Bye, guys.